All right, hey you guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be here today. I do wanna get right into the content. However, there's kind of a laundry list of things that I need to say before we get started. First things first, my name is Rachel. I'm a third year medical student. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below. Join our herd. We're happy and a great time and we would love to have you. I normally vlog, so this is kind of a different type of video for me, but I hope you enjoy. And so what is this video about? This is how I studied for my first two years of medical school. This is called the preclinical years and essentially it is just all the lecture stuff you learn all this content heavy 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 content over the first two years and then in the following two years you do your clinical stuff you're on rotations I did film a video already um, how I studied for my first year of medical school I'm gonna link that up here and down below as well and it's important that you watch that video before this one unless you're already going into second year so the timeline of this video is from the beginning of summer before second year and then all the way through through second year. I do wanna let you know that the way my medical school is blocked is that the first year we learn everything that's normal. And then over the second year, we learn the abnormal stuff, all the path. If your school's not formatted like this, then I'm not quite sure how you will implement these study methods, but of course, feel free to watch and take away any tips and tricks. And then, sorry, just a few more things. I did title this video kind of like whoa, like what the heck kind of title, but I I don't mean to sound egotistical or flex in any way showing you, oh my gosh, look at what I did. Not at all. I just wanted to show you this because A, I'm proud. I'm, I'm very proud that I was able to do this. And then B, it's doable. And lastly, it gives my study methods a little bit more credibility. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave them down below. I read every single comment. Okay, buckle up you guys. It's about to get serious. And I have my little notes on my phone. I don't really want to memorize the script. Up to this point, I had watched all of the Boards and Beyond videos that pertain to first year content, so all of the normal stuff, and I was maturing Anki cards from the Lightyear deck, and that was on Reddit. I don't know if it's available anymore, but that's what I used. I continue to do these cards every single day, even after first year ended. That's a mistake a lot of people make, is that they will do Anki, and then they'll stop after their first year and have this summer break, and not continue to do those cards. I know it's a pain, but it's very important to do your Anki do cards every single day. If you do have any questions about Anki, I've made a few videos about it. I will link them down below. So I studied about seven hours per day over the summer, even on the weekends. Before starting the systems, I did start with Sketchy Micro and I finished that. And then I, then I started with Sketchy Farm and I finished those videos as well. A lot of you also ask, how do you use Sketchy to study? And if you don't use Anki, I think Anki is a great tool for maintaining those images from Sketchy. What I do is I watch a Sketchy video and then I take the cards from a pre-made deck, you can find them on Reddit, and I would hit those cards immediately after watching the video. I finished Sketchy Micro, Sketchy Farm, and then I went system by system. So this was the exact order that I used resources in when I was going into the systems. So for example, we'll start with cardio. I did cardio and then I would go to Boards and Beyond videos and I watched all of the abnormal videos, the ones that I hadn't watched from first year. And I watched those videos and I pulled some cards from the Lightyear deck and I would mature those cards with those videos. Still in cardio, I would go to Pathoma and I would watch the cardio chapter. I didn't really annotate the Pathoma book and I didn't do any cards associated with Pathoma. Finally, I would watch Sketchy Path. This summarized everything that I had learned, all of that foundational knowledge into an image and it was so helpful. And I used the particular deck Kanana or Kanona, I don't know, it's on Reddit. It's a little bit shorter than other decks that I've seen for Sketchy Path. On top of this, we're still in summer, you guys. I started the Amboss Q Bank, and over the summer, I did about 40 questions per day, 40 to 80, and I would review these. I wouldn't do a heavy review, and I wouldn't make any cards on my reviews, but I felt that it was a really nice way to start integrating the material into question format and board style question format. And then finally, I did do some light annotating in first aid. However, I actually don't really like first aid, and I didn't find it helpful to annotate until I was very close to boards. So that is a whole nother video, all the board stuff. That's why I'm not really talking about boards in this video. Starting second year, we had so many lectures coming at us every single day, and this carry, that was the theme for second year. But I had already seen majority of the material during the summer. This was almost like a second pass for me already, and it was way more in depth just because it was not like high yield board stuff. While watching these lectures, I had way less Anki to make 
for my lectures because you guys may or may not know I do make my Anki cards for lectures. So instead of making 50, 60 cards per lecture like I was in the first year or however many I was making, I would make between 10 to like 30 lecture cards per lecture and it was way less and so I wasn't adding a bunch of material because I already knew what I had in my deck. I already knew the knowledge that I had acquired over the summer and it carried into second year and I was just taking in little bits of information instead of the whole dang curriculum. And on top of this, I was still doing Amboss QBank. I only was doing 20 questions per day and doing a light review of them. Then on the weekends, I would do what I did during first year. I used my pass tracker and I split up all the lectures that happened during that week. And I would review the first half of them on Saturday and then the second half on Sunday. Go over stuff, make notes. Everything that I did in the first year, I did the same on the weekends during second year. And then I did start UWorld in February actually, but um, that doesn't really pertain to second year stuff. It just pertains to boards, which is another video like I keep saying. But yeah, that's essentially it. Let's do a quick little recap summary really quick. So first year stuff, check out that video. Over the summer, sketchy micro, sketchy farm, did the cards for those, and then I went system by system, Boards and Beyond, Pathoma, Sketchy Path, did all the cards for those. Also started Amboss over the summer and carried that on through second year. And then once second year started, did my lectures, did the cards for those lectures, did lecture reviews on the weekend while still doing Amboss, did UWorld as well. And that was basically it for second year. I hope I summarized that well. I hope this video was helpful for you. All I want is for you guys to succeed, honestly. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves, continue to work hard, and all that good stuff. Okay, bye. Actually, quick little thing before I finish, if you're still watching, I just wanted to briefly touch on burnout, and I've seen a few things on the internet about people saying like, like don't condone burnout, and don't encourage that kind of behavior, it's very toxic. By all means, I'm not saying burn yourselves out by studying. Did I feel burnt out here and there over the year? Of course. I'm in medical school, I mean, I don't know what you expect. You have to work hard, and you gotta put in the time, and burnout is relative for each person. So your form of burnout may be way, way more than mine. It may be way lower. That's for you to know. That's for you to assess with yourself and just keep checking in with how you're doing. I did burn out a few times and there were days that I needed to take off. And as long as you listen to your body, you listen to yourself, you know what you need. If you need to kick it down a few notches, then do that. I'm not condoning burnout behavior, but I'm also saying it's okay to work hard. Just keep checking in with yourself. Now I can finish this video. So I love you guys so much. I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.